When a Starship launch is described by some as disappointing compared to previous flights, one might wonder, how would SpaceX President Gwen Shotwell respond? What did she just declare after Starship Flight 6? These revelations are sure to leave you astonished. Let's find out on today's episode of Alpha Tech. Some may feel that the Starship Flight 6 launch was somewhat underwhelming compared to SpaceX's previous accomplishments. However, it's important to remember that even the catch attempt of the Super Heavy booster during Starship Flight 5 experienced issues that nearly endangered the launch tower. For this reason, skipping the catch attempt this time was not just a safe decision, but also a strategic move to pave the way for more Starship launches in the near future. Moreover, we must not overlook the primary objectives of Flight 6, which were largely focused on the performance of the second-stage Starship vehicle. As anticipated, it delivered a commendable performance in fulfilling its mission goals. Gwyn Shotwell, the most powerful woman behind Starship, had this to say, SpaceX teams continuing to make the nearly impossible look easy. This statement highlights her deep appreciation for what was achieved during this launch. Typically, Gwen Shotwell is known for her reserved demeanor and rarely shares her thoughts on social media, unlike her outspoken boss. Therefore, when she does speak out about a mission, it carries weight and serves as an acknowledgement of the hard work being done by everyone at Starbase. Catching the Super Heavy booster may not be as important as the valuable lessons and insights Shotwell and the SpaceX team have gained, which will inform their bold plans for the future. One such endeavor could take place soon with Starship's 7th and 8th flights potentially on the horizon. If the turnaround time matches the quick one-month interval between Flight 5 and 6, the next launch could happen as early as December. Shortly after the flight, Elon provided an exciting glimpse into SpaceX's evolving roadmap for the next series of test flights, further fueling anticipation for what's to come. Elon had previously emphasized SpaceX intends to execute at least three soft splashdowns of the Starship upper stage before moving to the tower catch phase. Reaffirming this, he said, we will do one more ocean landing of the ship. If that goes well, SpaceX will attempt to catch the ship with the tower. This deliberate step-by-step -step approach highlights SpaceX's meticulous testing protocol aimed at minimizing risks while refining its groundbreaking technologies. The implication of Elon's remarks extend beyond Flight 7. If SpaceX intends to attempt a towering catch in Flight 8, it needs to integrate and test specific hardware to accommodate this maneuver as early as the seventh test flight. This preparation will ensure the tower's catch mechanism is thoroughly validated, laying the groundwork for a successful operational catch. Moreover, Elon's comments suggest that preliminary data from the Flight 6 tests were promising regarding alignment and functionality of potential catch hardware. These findings likely stem from the remarkable performance of the Starship upper stage, which demonstrated its ability to operate effectively under highly challenging conditions during the latest test flight. In its first public statement after Flight 6, SpaceX elaborated on the wealth of data gathered during the mission. The company highlighted that multiple thermal protection experiments coupled with the upper stage's aggressive angle of attack during its subsonic descent yielded critical insights into the spacecraft's flight hardware under real-world conditions. This feedback is expected to play a pivotal role in further improving the thermal and structural systems necessary for Starship's eventual return to Earth and successful capture by the launch tower. Additionally, the successful in-flight ignition of the Raptor engine during Flight 6 was a major milestone for SpaceX. This achievement demonstrates the engine's capability to execute a controlled deorbit burn, a crucial element for full orbital missions. By perfecting this, SpaceX is one step closer to achieving the goal of making Starship the most versatile, reusable aircraft ever built, capable of returning from orbit and landing safely at its launch site. Although the thrilling catch was not witnessed this time, the progress observed during Flight 6 is undeniable. With repeated testing and innovation on each flight, SpaceX moves closer to transforming Starship's program from a revolutionary concept into a fully operational space transportation system capable of redefining the future of space exploration. As the company gears up for Flight 7 and beyond, the whole space industry is watching, eager to see how these developments will unfold. So what's next? What is the future of Starship SpaceX? This was stated by Gwen Shotwell recently when she attended a conference on space. 
Shoutwell confidently stated that Starship is nearing a critical milestone, transitioning from an experimental rocket to one capable of performing operational missions. We just passed 400 launches with Falcon, she remarked, and I wouldn't be surprised if we see 400 Starship launches in the next four years. We want to fly it a lot. Yes, you heard that right, 400 launches in just four years. The staggering figure reflects SpaceX's confidence in scaling Starship's capabilities and operations at an unprecedented pace. The ambitious goals set forth by SpaceX are challenging, not just due to hardware requirements, but the demands on ground systems. Right now, SpaceX only has one active launch tower, and scaling up to such a rapid flight cadence will require overcoming hurdles like the logistics of supplying large quantities of liquid oxygen and methane. However, what stands out is SpaceX's ability to double its Starship launches to four this year twice the number of Falcon Heavy missions, showcasing impressive potential scalability of Starship. Apart from founder Elon Musk, Gwen Shotwell is the most senior employee at SpaceX, having joined the company months after its inception in 2002 as VP of Sales. By 08, she was named president and has since overseen the company's operations. While Shotwell is known for her diplomatic approach compared to Elon, her drive to disrupt the global space industry is equally fierce. Her enthusiasm for this mission is evident in her speeches at various business conferences. Although achieving 400 Starship launches a year by 2029 may seem unlikely, SpaceX is on a trajectory to reach such a pace eventually. When they do, it could bring launch costs down to a remarkably low $10 million a mission, a game-changing figure that would leave the competition struggling to keep up well into the 2030s. Gwen Shotwell also noted that SpaceX plans to gradually phase out Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy launches in favor of Starship missions in the coming years. Even Falcon 9's last stronghold, Crew Dragon missions, will likely be replaced sooner than most people anticipate, according to her statements. Starship obsoletes Falcon 9 and the Dragon capsule, she said. Now, we are not shutting down Dragon, and we're not shutting down Falcon. We'll be flying that for six to eight more years, but ultimately people are going to want to fly on Starship. It's bigger, more comfy, less expensive, and will have flown it so many more times. SpaceX continues to expand its operations to support the growing demands of Starship and Starlink. According to Shotwell, the company now employs 15,000 people an impressive three-fold increase compared to its workforce just six years ago. Shotwell also shared that Starlink's set to become profitable this year with nearly 7,000 satellites currently operating in LAO. The service is available in 114 countries and is on track to expand to approximately 120 additional nations. This global reach underlines SpaceX's progress in building the world's most extensive satellite internet network. The company has begun launching larger Starlink satellites designed to enable direct-to-cell connectivity. Shotwell revealed that this new service is expected to go live within about a month. Initially, it'll support light data usage and messaging, but as the constellation grows, the service will evolve to provide more robust data capabilities. However, SpaceX's rapid growth is not without challenges. Shotwell addressed the ongoing hurdles with the FAA, and Elon has previously criticized this agency that oversees launch licensing in the U.S. for its outdated processes. Shotwell pointed out that current regulations were designed originally for an industry where U.S. companies launch no more than 10 to 12 times a year. SpaceX, however, has far surpassed those norms, with 96 launches last year and plans for 130 launches this year. The figure could increase further as SpaceX ramps up its Starship testing cadence. Despite these challenges, SpaceX continues to push boundaries, reshaping not just its own trajectory, but the broader aerospace industry as well. We never complain about regulation, Shotwell said. It's not that there is regulation, it's that regulation in the U.S., maybe globally, maybe not China, but maybe everywhere else is slowing technology down. It's not helping, it's slowing. All we ask is to regulate industries, make them safe, make them right, and make them fair. But you've got to go faster, much faster. Ultimately, after all the challenges faced and milestones achieved, there's a collective hope that Gwen Shotwell, the steadfast and visionary leader, will continue to guide SpaceX with unwavering determination. As SpaceX ventures into uncharted territory, Gwen's ability to steer the company forward will be pivotal in realizing a shared ambition of revolutionizing human access to space. From reusable rockets to interplanetary travel, SpaceX has consistently pushed the boundaries of aerospace technology, setting new benchmarks for the industry. Under her guidance, the company has demonstrated resilience, adaptability, and a relentless pursuit of excellence.
The ultimate goal of SpaceX to make humanity a multi-planetary species requires not just cutting-edge technology, but also a strong, focused leadership capable of navigating through challenges. Gwyn's expertise and commitment are vital as SpaceX works to open a new era of space exploration, one where missions to Mars, permanent lunar bases, and deep space travel become realities rather than dreams. And that's it for today's episode. Thanks for watching and see you next time.